Now, the United States, Poland, and the three Baltic states have voiced concern over Russia's deployment of nuclear capable missiles close to the four European Union countries' borders. U.S. State Department Deputy Spokeswoman Marie Harf confirmed that the U.S. had urged Russia to not take steps that would destabilize the region. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov says that the missiles will be deployed in Kaliningrad in the Western Military District. For years, Russia threatened to deploy missiles in response to the United States' plan to install a NATO missile system in Eastern Europe. Moscow says the NATO missiles are a threat to Russian national security. Russian media reports say the newly deployed missiles can hit NATO targets located in Poland, Lithuania and even Germany. Joining us on the line from London now is Christopher Walker. He's a former Moscow correspondent of The Times. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. Walker. Now, as we've just reported, Russia has been threatening for years to deploy missiles in response to the United States, a missile system uh, in Eastern Europe. Why do you think Russia has chosen now to deploy them? Well, I think one thing is that the... Uh U.S. have not done uh, anything to live up to their promises, rather vaguely made, to take down that missile system. And two, what's going on in Ukraine, where uh, the uh, European Union appears to be trying to, as it were, influence the uprising and secure Ukraine into its position of influence, whereas Russia very much opposes this. I think this is very much a warning sign, a bit of saber rattling at a time when tension is growing between uh, the West and, and Russia. So, considering uh, how the situation stands right now, we are seeing this power struggle between the West and Moscow being fought out in Ukraine, as you mentioned, and now along the lines of this NATO missile sh uh, system. How do you think the way things are going to escalate from here on? Are both sides going to show restraint, or are we going to see uh, more tit-for-tat moves? I think more tit-for-tat moves. Russia has always been very keen, since the collapse of the Soviet Empire, as it were, to maintain its own power over what it's caused, uh, its uh, near uh, borders, its uh, near foreign rights, and uh, anything that's done against that, remember the war with Georgia not long ago, is going to provoke action from Moscow. Mr. Putin will not tolerate any sort of uh, uh, attempts like in Ukraine to poach what he regards as territory that should be loyal to Russia. Well, that's Putin. How do you see Obama responding, though? I don't know exactly, because Obama has so far uh, been so shaky in his various responses not standing up in Syria to what was threatened about red lines and very worried about uh, any uh, idea of American troops being called into action. I think this will uh, probably lead him to try and step up diplomatic steps and send John Kerry, his Secretary of State, to try and do something about this, but he may not succeed if those missiles of the American side remain in place. Well, that's an interesting point you make there, considering uh, how Obama has been shaky on many issues. And, and many point out that does spring from the fact that the United States isn't as strong as it used to be politically, economically, and militarily speaking. So can the U.S. even afford to irk Russia's wrath? Well, uh, less and less so, I would say. And uh, there's not a great deal of support for that within the United States. The American public is becoming famously isolationist, as it used to be. It's had enough of this foreign involvement. And, uh, you know, now that uh, Germany is not playing the role that it did, uh, I think there is real pressure 
on Obama not to not to push this. Putin has always shown that he's willing to go the extra mile. And uh, it could be a confrontation that Obama doesn't want. All right. That was Christopher Walker, former Moscow correspondent of The Times. They're joining us on the line from London. Mr. Walker, it's always a pleasure having you with us here on Press TV.